What's up, everybody? It's 10 o'clock, no dots from all that photography. I know it's been a minute since I, since I hit y'all with the blog. You gotta excuse me, I'm um, looking at some text messages. So, man, I've just been having a wild couple days, man. Like, just got into a couple of, ev a couple of um, events where I just kind of learned some lessons over the last couple of days. And one of the big things that I learned was about the importance of when you're in a business, no matter what business it is, about having contracts and um, making sure that you're communicating as much as possible. Um, I, I had a disagreement, and this wasn't the first time that I had a disagreement, but long story short, it comes down to communication and contracts. And um, it just <clears throat> it didn't work out. I left out kind of bitter. I'm sad about it. But nevertheless, I learned from it. And I think um, when you start in your own business, when, you, um, <clears throat> when you're trying to do your own thing, it sucks because I know a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, especially as creators, we try to do handshake deals and we be like, we're going to look out for each other. And we're going, you know what I'm saying, or it might be a person that's just like not being patient enough and just pressing the issue on wanting money in the situation or you know what I'm saying, the disagreement on how much this person gets with the deal or how much another person gets, like all that is eliminated when you open yourself up to communicate effectively and when you have contracts. I myself have messed up on uh, communication and I dealt with people that did that messed up with communication and the same thing with contracts. <clears throat> but like I said, man, it's all about um, I didn't say this, but it's all about really knowing. It's all about following your gut <laughs> if i could word it best it's all about following your gut man um next thing i wanted to talk about was um, i had a conversation with my friend the other day and we was talking about how uh would you leave your child at the bus you know what i mean and me personally because of how crazy shit is going on i wouldn't let my daughter catch no bus like i'm about i'm taking you to school and picking you up man it's crazy how the, all these girls are going missing in dc man i think it's a very sad thing and it's crazy because when I go to the city sometimes, not sizing it, you know, but I literally, and it's sometimes in Maryland too, man, I see little young kids walking around by themselves. Even in groups, you know what I'm saying, groups of kids, like when you got these creep ass adults out here doing crazy shit, man, and all this trafficking and stuff, man, you really can't afford to leave your kids alone. Now, some things are, you know what I'm saying, out of the hands of the parents sometimes, you know what I mean, so you let your kids play, this, that, and the other, but... For the most part, man, I just, I don't know, man. I, you just got to keep a close eye on your child, regardless of what the situation is. <clears throat> I just wanted to leave you with a little bit of motivation, man. Even though I've been going through the things that I have been going through in the last couple of days, man, with my computer, my gear and all that, and having to pay shit, man. It's always like some type of light that kind of picks me back up, man. And I'm telling you, it's been a real tough week, man. But at the end of the day, like I felt my I felt it affecting me but I also felt the fight in me. So like all I have left is to keep going, you know what I'm saying? The support for my people. I like to thank everybody that support me. I like to shout out everybody that's um doing a photography thing. I see some of my photography friends, photographer friends that's just starting up, but they like that. They getting good real fast and I think that's important, man. You really got the passion. Keep the creativity, um I had a chance to um, go to St. Augustine in D.C. and talk to some kids about career day, about photography, man, and it was dope. And I kind of just gave them a little piece about how Spider-Man was my inspiration behind picking up a camera anyway. And if you don't know, Peter Parker was a photographer. I tell everybody that story. It's my favorite story to tell, other than the birth of my daughter. <laughs> but um, I'm going to come back next week. I got a lot of content coming. I've just been going through it this week, and I, I'm realizing that no matter how much stuff I'm going through, I got to keep pushing. And that's what I'm going to leave you with. Make sure you keep pushing. One love, one thousand.